Hey, this is Greg Perkins with another Like a Captivate quick tip. I was recently asked a question about how do you delete multiple observations in a job file. The easiest way to do that is to go to your 3D viewer screen and select the area that you want to work in. Once you're down in the area where you need to, to delete points, you would select the cog or wheel option here on the bottom of the screen. Select the window option here at the top and then drag a window around the area where you want to delete points. Now, one caution, when we go to delete, this will delete points and line work. So you wanna make sure you have the options uh, selected or the points and lines selected that you actually wanna delete. Once you have them highlighted, hold your stylus down on the screen and select delete objects. Comes up and tells me 30 objects will be deleted. And do I really want to delete them? I'll say yes. And now my file is cleared out. So one thing I want to point out to you here, if you'll notice, I have a gap now in my point number between, between number 14 and number 16. And that's because when I drew the window, I accidentally grabbed a point on that line. So again, let me caution you. When you delete points in this fashion from your Captivate database, they are gone and cannot be recovered in the field. Nice thing about that is if you take the file into Leica Infinity, the information can be recovered there. So let me show you another option for deleting points. So I'll go back to my main menu. I'll go to view and edit data. Now on this screen, if I wanted to do a global delete of everything in the file, I could press function and all, which will tag all my points. And now with those points tagged, I could press the delete button here. So that's one way to get rid of everything in the file. The other thing that I could do is here again in my screen, I can set a filter and filter by several different methods to isolate points. So in this case, I would do function filter. And the first filter I'd want to do was range of point IDs. So here, let me delete point number one to point number 16, press OK. My filter is set. So now all I see is points one to 16. I can press function all and then delete. And these measurements will be deleted. If I go back to my 3D viewer, you'll notice that I'm missing some points. Now, why do I not see points here? It's because I have a filter on. So I'll go back to function, filter, set my filter to highest point class again. And now when I zoom in, you'll notice that my, the points one to 16 are gone and the associated line work that went with that is gone as well. So a couple of other things here that we can do is we can filter by codes. We can filter by different point ID names. So if you name your point IDs with an alpha character, you can sort by that with a wildcard. So let's look at another filter. So I'll do function filter. And in this case, I want to filter by points with a certain code. So I can select my codes. And now I want to isolate only the points that have cable television. So if I select none, everything will be turned off and then I can turn on CATV, press OK press OK. And now I have just the points here that are cable television. So if I press function and all, and in this case, there's only two points, so I could just click the, the boxes. But once I have that, I can press delete, get my warning message again, go back. And it's very important that you remember this, go back and set your filter back to highest point class, press OK, back to my 3D viewer. And now my cable television line, which ran essentially from here over to the, to the building is now gone. That's how you delete with multiple points. Lots of ways to do that. So play around with those filters and, and see what you have. Just remember if a point's deleted, we can bring it back in like infinity. If you have other tips or other things you'd like to see videos about, shoot me a message in the, in the comment section and we'll take a look at what we can produce. Thanks.